Portland's famous food carts are in the bullseye of controversy over booze. The state just approved the very first liquor license for a cart area to serve beer and wine, and city leaders are angry about it. Coin Local 6 reporter Lisa Balick in Southeast Portland with more on this brewing problem here. Lisa, does this open the door for all food carts to serve beer and wine? No, at least not yet, Jeff, that's for sure. Because for those 700 food carts, in order to be able to serve beer or wine, there are just too many restrictions to be able to give you a beer along with that burrito. This is our standard size bun. James Knight cooks big food here in Cartlandia. He says he understands why Portland city leaders are upset. The state gave a go-ahead for a beer garden here. They don't want every single food cart to be able to sell alcohol in, in the venue of downtown. We're not downtown. We don't have that venue. The downtown carts would never, ever be able to fulfill the requirements that the OLCC puts down to have a liquor license. Workers at the carts will not sell alcohol. Instead, there will be a corral beer garden in the center of this lot with security guards. Patrons who go inside to be served will have to finish their drinks before they exit. And the food carts have to be open if the alcohol is flowing. We're going to police it just like we do uh, people coming in here that don't want to buy food. We ask them to leave. Dave Yipparella just opened his cart, Thai Mango, here this week. This whole cart pod borders the Springwater Corridor, a popular hiking and biking trail. And it's really a family event. People come biking in here with their kids. It's a destination for them to come and have lunch. Among those against granting the liquor license is the Portland police. Who say they're concerned it will make it tougher to enforce disorderly conduct complaints. And the city worries that hundreds of cart owners will eventually get the green light to sell booze throughout the city. But the Oregon Liquor Control Commission says that's not the case. This license is for a beer garden zone, a one year license approved for the property owner of the site. And there's certainly a, billion, a lot of people watching over that one year to see what happens out there as a test case. Now, there are a lot of restrictions and rules. For example, you have to have a permanent location. You have to have a designated consumption area. They say that's why there won't be a full-scale, all-out beer on every corner sold at every food cart in Portland. Again, this is for one particular area, not one particular cart. Reporting for you live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Point Local 6. Okay, lots of rules and regulations. Thanks, Lisa.